Hey there, this is Kelly Key, and today I released a video a little bit earlier and kind of went over some topics or whatever. So I wanted to kind of dive a little bit deeper into this because I was sitting back thinking, I was like, well, let me kind of look into this a little bit further because if a ruler is going to be better than an SSD. I'm not really necessarily for sure. So I ended up pulling up minitool.com and minitool.com says that the SSD became more and more popular due to its fast boot up speed. Intel also released a new 3D NAND solid state driver ruler form factor storage known as Intel Ruler SSD. In order to serve for data center servers, a large number of people are prone to replace their traditional hard drives and new SSDs since upgrading to an SSD. To be one of the best to speed up an aging PC. And so as the chip giant Intel has first set out this form factor about a year ago, on a basis of enterprise and data center storage form factor. Hence, the cooling cost can be controlled well by the server makers beside they offer a more efficient format than the classic SSD in the 2.5 inch size. And so it was um, looking at like, well, what is this or whatever and outstanding features for the ruler SSD. The new shape for the ruler SSD allows it to optimize the performance involving the following aspects. High storage density, low cooling cost, more power for data centers. Intel said the slim long format de demands half the airflow in order to keep them cool and the new 3D NAND SSD only takes up up a tenth of a power, tenth of the power when compared to traditional SSD form hardware. Obviously, it is only about 5% of the size of a um, of disk based storage. And so I ended up pulling up like a picture of it and this is what it actually looks like and then um, it says the rulers SSD is the world's densest and so the SSD capacity has been breaking records raising dramatically and they are also taking on new formats Intel has announced the P4500 a 32 terabyte rule for data center servers. According to Intel, this is the densest SSD in the world. That is, if it stores data in relation to its volume, they are 30 centimeters long, like a good ruler, four centimeters wide and 0.75 millimeters or centimeters thick. And so, it, um, the op opening image of the, of the news, you can see uh, the new format rule for Intel is SSD. Do not expect to find it in stores because at the moment, it will only be available for data centers of internet providers. If a one terabyte SSD drive costs $358, imagine what could be worth a or what can be worth a 32 terabyte SSD with as much more advanced technology. So I guess this is the inside of course of a SSD and uh, you know, I'll link these articles down in the description, but it was just kind of interesting to kind of go over. This is another picture and just to kind of get a better understanding of just what these are and so data center and like I was, I was saying I have been dabbling around with learning more and more about data center servers 
um, workstations. Um, and so then is M.2 dead? One of the biggest topics were, uh, were discussed was whether or not the M.2 connector will be going away from new systems. And Jason believes that as far as OEM and enterprises are concerned, it certainly will. And sooner than you might think, broad-based adoption may only be 18 months away. Now, why is all of this kind of important? Well, if you kind of look at the like the market in a way and i'm not saying widespread because it's not marketed widespread um but generally a lot of times what happens is is that the the commercial enterprise data center kind of a situation has a certain kind of a um product that they actually use at that level and then as time goes on then some of that technology is either transformed into something that will be more on a consumer grade and there are some possibilities that consumers will actually be able to purchase some of this equipment same way as we're able to purchase like the 10 gig um switches and um uh, enterprise kind of uh routers and servers and hard drives and ssds and all the other stuff that has kind of gone through the uh corporate database kind of a situation and then once they upgrade to the next situation or the next kind of tier of equipment for them then a lot of times that equipment is then filtered in to the consumer place or whatever a lot of times you can buy it on like amazon ebay sometimes you'll find some of it on craigslist and some of the other kind of uh retailers that actually uh sell things like second hand same way as like some of the nvidia nvidia uh um, GPUs that are enterprise kind of grade and I actually did some videos before where I actually talked about well there's a way to actually get those into like a gaming but if you're not doing gaming and you're looking for let's say a um, a video editing server or something like that or whatever you can do a multitude of things um, with those GPUs or whatever, um, other than gaming or whatever. So, you know, just, just an interesting kind of a twist off on the ruler SSD. I kind of touched on it a little bit or whatever, and I decided I was like, well, I read that article or whatever, and that was based upon the, you know, the stocks or whatever, and then you kind of you know and so i was like well let me look into that portion of it just a little bit further because you don't really necessarily hear about a ruler and especially with that much um storage capacity that is just kind of a interesting kind of a situation or whatever so on that note i'd like to thank you for watching and i will talk to you in the next video